like the rings on a blower door or on a duct tester. So we have a size one, size two, and size three. And we have a pressure tube that measures the pressure on the outlet side of the, the opening. And right now we have that tube running to the blue port on our manometer. And so it's comparing the pressure on the outlet side of the opening to the pressure on the inlet side, which is completely open to the environment in which we're standing. And if we think about what causes air to move into and out of buildings, we essentially have three main driving forces. We have wind, and as the drawing here shows, we have the wind blowing on one side of the building that creates a positive pressure and therefore creates a negative pressure on the other side of the building. Leave that at zero because the fan is not going to be replaced, not, a, not on the agenda. So I'm going to leave the kitchen at zero. The bathroom, however, we're going to be installing a 60 CFM fan, so I can type in 60. And notice that I have a 100 deficit here for the kitchen. And you can see that it's essentially bypassing the switch here. Even when the switch is off, it allows electricity to flow through the transformer up to the other side and then to the fan. So it's going to essentially allow a trickle of electricity to the fan which will cause it to run at a lower and they have a, a series of charts here that is broken down by the make and model of fan so let's say that you were going to use this fan right here the FV08 VQ3 the actual CFM is 80 and maybe for your building you only needed 30 CFM of continuous ventilation negative one and I found where those two intersected and I put my horizontal line and we know that when that test in scenario was done that had a cast pressure of negative one, I was only exhausting 10 CFM out of the bathroom. Okay, and, and I know that I'm installing a 60 CFM fan, so that means that our exhaust quantity, and maybe it's 2,000 square feet. I notice that everything is automatically calculating for me. So this is running through our base uh, formula here of seven and a half CFM per person plus one percent of the square footage and 1800 CFM 50 and we're going to add a hundred CFM of exhaust ventilation okay so the first thing we do is we plot the 1800 so there's our 1800 line so you can see that we're sliding to the left here it can be used to provide the quote unquote whole building ventilation or that, that portion of ventilation that's, that's diluting the inside air. So in order to use an exhaust fan for a whole building ventilation need, you have to have a control that keeps track of how often that fan turns on and off. At this point, all of the air that the fan is exhausting out of this bathroom is moving through the opening in the flow hood. So I can look at my gauge here and see that the pressure drop across that opening is 2.0 pascals. All right, so if we want to look up the results of our test,